is an issue that's been flagged in many reports, the discrepancy between public sector and private sector for often doing the same kinds of work. Um, over the past few years, we've actually taken a number of measures and, you know, I'll give one example. The um, pension plan for one, for both members of parliament, for the public sector, we've now changed the age from 55 to 65. So new employees with the public sector and members of parliament, um, we've made that big, pretty significant change in terms of fairness and that's going to save approximately, I think it's quite a few million dollars a year. The other thing that we've moved forward on is the 50-50 um, cost sharing. The There wasn't an equitable cost sharing in terms of the the um, the health and benefits that were available. So so moving forward to 50-50, it's interesting, of course, I met with the retired um, civil service, uh, federal civil service representatives yesterday and, you know, obviously they were concerned about changes that were perhaps less than equitable um, or in their opinion it wasn't fair and I talked about this question that we had today and said, you know, the public sector um, it does important work, absolutely. They have a good benefit package, they have good wages, but it is the small businesses that create the wealth in this country and you know need to be able to continue to do so. So to have this kind of disparity does seem to be um, something that, that we need to address, but we also need to, of course, recognize the, the value of our public uh, civil service. <laughs>